back to another of my videos and today we're doing a different kind of video so we're not doing a tea spilling video as you can probably tell by the title of this video so a friend of mine opal she wanted me to do a video showing you guys about prices that items should be worth when you're trading because i actually have noticed this too that some people are overpaying for certain items or even underpaying and that can sometimes be considered a scam especially for the person who isn't getting the correct amount of diamonds or isn't paying the correct amount of diamonds or if they're overpaying it because then you could lose like a lot of diamonds when it's actually worth a lot less and i'm not gonna lie a lot of this plays into it being limited and also the high-end demand for it so this list that opal helped me make is kind of a vague area i just wanted to show you guys because i saw some tweets where you guys were asking me if this is like a fair trade and some of them were kind of outrageous considering that it some had something to do with a halo and they were asking you to basically overpay or underpay and so i just wanted to make this video so thank you so much obo for helping me with this and sorry i look so bougie right now i i felt like dressing up also i think i copied this outfit from opal too i copied too many outfits for my friends but anyways let me just show you that list also, I'm on this group right now. Make sure to join my Discord group. Um, right now, it's called Sienna's Easter Party. Usually, it isn't. Um, we tend to do, like, giveaways in here. I don't know what is happening. Oh, my God. Okay, so we tend to do, like, a lot of giveaways. And there's the chat's always open, obviously. And we also have, like, if you guys want to ask me questions, this is where you would ask me stuff. We have vent chats and stuff like that. We even have, like, real high tea and outfits and trades if you want to look for trades, too. So I think we have, like, about 500 members so far because I haven't really been advertising this. But if you have Discord, make sure to join. And also, usually I tend to be in voice call a lot if you guys want to, like, talk to me or ask me stuff or play games with me, like Royal High or Adopt Me or any game in Roblox or yeah um so if you guys have not joined this make sure to join us also um make sure to hit that like button the subscribe button the notification bell if you have not done so already i sometimes forget to say that in the beginning of the video anyways so as you can see opal helped me make a list and so this is kind of like a vague little list and um, I'll just be showing you guys. So first of all, she says the Shadow Empress boots should be around 40000 to 80000 So what she's kind of doing is taking the original price and doubling it. Since it's limited, it should be doubled or maybe a little bit more. I know the Shadow Empress boots are probably, like the whole Shadow Empress set is probably the set that most people tend to overpay with because of the high demand i do believe it can be a little bit more than eighty thousand or forty thousand or thirty thousand or forty thousand again because since it's so high in demand that people are willing to pay that much for it however i saw someone ask me whether the emperor's crown for the halo is worth it and it definitely is not do not like use the shadow emperor set as like your key to overprice it and like get yourself a halo that's technically scamming because um the person who has the halo and is trading for your shadow empress stuff um that's kind of like underpaying unless they give you the whole set and some diamonds because then that probably be more fair also speaking of halos i'll get to that about each halo's worth so i had a list somewhere but i will tell you why certain halos are worth more it depends how many people have it in the game so i'll get to that later so as you can see we have shadow empress boots 40 to 80 thousand shadow empress sleeves 20 to 40 thousand i think the sleeves can be a little bit more though because actually a lot of people really want sleeves for some weird reason it's really in high demand the crown this is about right because um the crown is less in demand the core set this is about right and so is the skirt um and for the parasol I think that this is about a good price. If you go over that, like, that's okay. It, keep in mind, this kind of depends on your seller because your seller might be more attached to a certain item or they just want more diamonds. It kind of depends who you find and who you're buying it from. But this is kind of about the whereabouts. Also, I don't have... She didn't make a whole list on every single accessory and item in Royal High because that would go on forever. She just did the main stuff that are, tend to be overpriced. Um, so I think that's a really good price for the parasol. The large rainbow skirt. So um, a lot of people ask how much it should be worth. Since it is currently limited, I saw a tweet that Cyber said that it might be coming back. I'm not quite sure if um, um, if it is though. 
but if it does, obviously, we'll be so happy. But so Opal priced it about fifty to eighty thousand. I feel like that sounds about right since a lot of people want it since it's been reworked. But yeah, I feel like that's a good price. So and then she's she goes to the Starfrost um set because I think the Starfrost set is the most expensive set. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I think in total it's like a hundred and twenty. 130,000 and the shadow empress is like second close to coming second so um as you can see she has the bonnet the bonnet probably yeah be priced way lower because it's not in demand at all the cape that sounds about right i feel like the skirt and the skates would probably be the highest since they are the highest and they're most in demand so I think, yeah, the highest for the skirt should be 64000 I don't know if the skates probably might be a little bit more than 60000 since these skates are limited and I don't know if they're coming back or not. And the staff, that sounds about right. So the Dear Dolly heels, um, I don't know why she has them 50000 That makes sense, though. I feel like you could go a little bit more than that, but you should definitely not be paying, like, under the price of the original item, especially if it's limited. So if it's still in shop, you can pay less than the original price but if it's limited you should pay at least like two thousand more than the original price because then the person isn't really getting back like much because it's limited making it worth more and then we have teddy zilla so i feel like valentine's day accessories can kind of be like um uh, overpaid to or overpriced so i'm glad she added this in so teddy zilla and the giant teddy bear so we have Teddy Zilla for fifteen thousand to forty thousand, and the Giant Teddy for eight thousand to twenty five thousand. I think that's about a good like price range. And now she had a list about underpaid items. So I agree with her. The broom is underpaid. The reason why the broom is so underpaid, and I feel like a lot of people are getting it for a pretty cheap price, unless their seller actually knows how much the broom is worth. I sold my broom for thirty thousand, and um um yeah. So uh I got. I was, yeah, it's fine. I didn't know how much the broom was worth, so that's why I sold it for that much, but it's okay. I got 30000 It's all good. Um, because the reason why the broom is so, like, this much, 100000 to 150 I feel like it could be a little bit less, but this should be about the price because the broom is never, ever coming back, and only the people who bought the flight pass during that specific time could get the broom. So... It has been confirmed that it's never going to come back. And based off the candies, like, this should be about the worth. So, I do agree with these prices. Now, to the high tops. I feel like these are always underpaid. I know because the demand is lower. And since they recently just came back from the St. Patrick's Day update. But I feel like it should still be at least 20000 Maybe 18000 at least. Because you don't want to lose money when you're, like, reselling things. And also, she said, she, also, I need to put a bit of notes. Okay, so about items that are worth the same that people think isn't fair. Okay. Oh, okay. So she's kind of like showing a reference. So some of these, so the treasure satchel, a lot of people think it's not worth a lot. I'm pretty sure if you bought it with physical diamonds, it was 20000 which means, but a lot of people, the reason why they don't think it's a lot is because you could get it for free from the clovers. But what Opal is saying that the treasure satchel should be worth around the Shadow Empress crown, which is fifteen to 30000 That sounds about right. So don't like underpay or overpay for the treasure satchel because yes, it was free, but you know, it, it still deserves some value. And then we have the pastel high tops and um, the rainbow high tops. It should be about the same price as the Shadow Empress, Empress sleeves. That is good. And then the Starfire set and the um, Shadow Empress set actually should be pretty much equal since the Shadow Empress set is a little bit less in total, like the overall. If you bought the whole set when it came out, it's like maybe like five to 10,000 less than the Starfrost set. But because the Shadow Empress set is so high in demand, it should be basically equal to the Starfrost set. And Starfrost set is actually pretty high in demand too, not gonna lie, but so this is kind of a list that Opal made and I'm really thankful that she made that. We're going to go back to Roblox and I'll show you why she did these prices. She basically doubled them to get the highest prices that you should pay for them. So as you can see, we're back in Roblox. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, whoa, this apartment is so pink. I think I'm in like my friend's private server, <laughs> but we love pink. So let's go to the shop and as you can see... Let's take a look. We need sets and skirts. 
do how do we how do we do sets okay i don't know how to do sets Jeez, louise okay um let's go to princess star frost so as you can see yeah actually this should be doubled maybe mm, no she lowered the price a bit because it just came out recently i'm pretty sure that's why so her prices seem to be pretty good i i agree with those prices i'm not gonna lie as you can see since these are limited, you should probably pay, like, the same price or a little bit more. Because I've already said that, but still. And, yeah. Um, let's go back and take a look. Um, let's try to find... Why do we find the Shadow Empress skirt? So, oh my god. Okay. So, as you can see, the Shadow Empress skirt is actually, whoa, it's less than the Valentina skirt and the um, Starfrost skirt. I did not realize that. So, the Shadow, oh my god, okay, <laughs> um, that just interrupted me. Okay, can we go back to the shop, please, sir, ma'am? Thank you. Um, as you can see, it is worth 28000 but I feel like it, it probably would be worth more when you're trading for it since it is so high in demand. Like, I keep on saying... I don't know if how much this would be worth when trading, but that that list that I showed you is kind of like a vague kind of just showing you what the prices are. So thank you so much, Obo, again for creating that whole list. I really appreciate that. Um, we're just going to be walking around the apartment. Um, I think that's it for today's video. Uh, if you guys have more video requests related to trading, I could totally do that because I want to help you guys. Um, with trading because just to stay safe and not get scammed or overpay or underpay which is the reason why I did a video of how not to get scammed if you guys have not seen that yet make sure to go check it out I probably will have it in my description down below I tend to have it actually there just to show you guys so if you guys want any other videos on how how to stay safe during trading I can totally show you how to do that I would definitely want to help you guys with that. So yeah, I think that's it for today's video. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell if you have not done so already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.